Hi everyone. So anyway, do you know what today is? Well, it's Saturday. I don't know what day I'm going to post this, but you know what else it is? It's a Stitch Fix Day. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you guys stop in and visit, spend a little bit of time with me. It means more to me than I can ever let you know. So from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys so much. I hope that if you are new to my channel, you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. I'd really appreciate a thumbs up and comments of course are always, always welcome and yeah so it's stitch fix so i'm going to leave a little video up here that you can click on anytime it'll tell you all the ins and outs about stitch fix how it works how you sign up i'll also have information in my link below in my description below and in there there'll be a link that if you use my link if you are new to stitch fix it'll take you right to the website quick little questionnaire you would get uh, your styling fee of $20 would be waived and you would get $25 to spend on any item that you wish to keep I would also get a $25 credit so this is my stitch fix I think it's 45 but we'll check that out sooner I already took everything out of the box this is what my my bundle looks like so I can see some really nice fall colors in here I did pick out two sweaters um, from my preview so I'm excited to try those on I got some jewelry and in it you're always going to get a return label to send anything back that you don't want to keep or if you need to exchange for a different size it does go through the USPS and you don't even have to go to the post office if you don't want to you can call and schedule a pickup yeah so they can pick it up at work so you can see them pick it up or whatever uh, also going to get a little envelope it's going to have the dreaded invoice usually i look at this but i'm going to save it to the end you know i like to change things up be a little different sometimes and you also get a styling card that's going to basically tell you everything that's in your box different ways that you can style it and a note from your stylist and i have another new stylist but we won't get into that because i know it's not their fault from heidi and just from what i can see she did look like she's she's read my note she's looked at some of my past purchases so that's exciting to have somebody do that so thank you so much heidi anyway let's uh try to get this out without making too much noise i'll just kind of quick show you don't know if I'm going to try them on tonight or if I'm going to try to get through a few boxes so we'll see how that goes this first item is a sweater a cardigan it's kind of like a an olive green and it's got a like a herringbone pattern that's kind of like weaved in regular sleeves a little bit of ribbing right there that same kind of ribbing looks like it goes down the front looks like a maybe a little below the hip not duster length but somewhere in between and it does have pockets and it's a nice lightweight for layering this next item is a dress and you know i haven't worn dresses in a while i mean i've been wearing the maxi dresses this summer and into this fall because it's just so easy and i don't have to worry about wearing pantyhose and things like that and uh yeah so yeah i'm not really sure about this but i know i've seen this dress before it is a pretty dress so um, this is um, from Nine Britain. It's called the Abigail Brushed Knit Midi Dress. It's a size small. And it looks like it's navy. And it's got some green in there. Looks like maybe a wrap mock or mock wrap. And I think it's got kind of like a asymmetrical hem or something right there. So this kind of like some taupe colored in here. Maybe, maybe like a light peach, but more like a taupey brown. And then different shades of olive green on navy so it is really pretty so we will see how that goes and she did suggest pairing that with the cardigan and it does look like it would go nice these <coughs> excuse me are both uh, daniel rain sweaters that were in my preview and they just kind of looked really nice but still lightweight so this one is blue and it looks like it's got like some floral details in it not sure if it's coming out for you it's got the full length sleeves which I appreciate it's got a nice v-neck 
So it does look nice, looks promising. And this other one is, looks like, I can't tell if it's uh, green with um, black or green with navy. It's Daniel Rain again. And it's a Cusper Mini Puff Sleeve Pullover in dark green. So this one does have more like a crew neckline. It does have the full sleeves, the ribbing detail, which looks a little bit wider. I mean, a nice length there just to kind of give it a little bit of interest. It says puff sleeve, so I'm not sure if it's supposed to be puffy at the shoulder or whatever. It looks like the bottom has a little bit of that ribbing detail as well. So I thought those would look interesting. And now well, let's check out the jewelry. So it's by the Nakamo, which is a line that they use quite a bit. And it's kind of like, it's really a fall themed. It's like one of those wrap bracelets. So I'm not sure. There it goes. So it's got some fall colors in it and then some pearls. And I'm not sure if it's clasp or if you just kind of wrap and tie it. So we will have to figure that out later. But anyway, not sure when I'm going to try it on. But yeah, so next time you see me, we'll be doing a try on. Hi everyone, welcome back to the recap. So you saw me try everything on. This is the hard part because sometimes it's hard to be honest with myself and that's why I count on you guys so much. You guys are always honest. I love your opinions. So I would love to hear your opinions and what you thought about the items in this fix. So first we'll show you the invoice that's got the name of the items on it, the prices, the descriptions, just in case it's something you wanted to ask your stylist for. So there we have the name of the item, the description, the color, the sizes that I ordered, and the dreaded prices. So again, this was my fix number 45 by Heidi, and I think she did a great job for me. So anyway, everything in my box was $290. If I were to keep it all, that would be that 5 for 5 discount, so I would get 25% off. So less $72.50, the total for the five items would be $217.50. Alrighty, I do have that styling pass, so I don't have any additional credits or anything to come off. So let's just get into it. So the first item that I'm going to show you is the bracelet that you didn't see me try on. And this bracelet by Nakamo is gorgeous. It is really, really pretty. It screams fall colors. They're calling it purple because I think that wiring up on top is purple. And it's got like the clear, kind of like the grayish color crystals in the middle. We got the white pearls and then those fall color beading up at top and just some gold beads strung in here and there. It is a wrap bracelet, so you do have to wrap it around as many times as you can. This uh, plastic right here um, you just kind of stretch it in between here to get it on over that little square metal thing right there. 
and for me this was hard I'm by myself I don't have anyone to help me try to put it on so for that reason this is going back but it is absolutely gorgeous it was $48 I do love the Nakamo line just really really nice quality items alrighty so I did get two Daniel Rain sweaters in my fix they're both the same material so they're both viscose polyester nylon and cashmere which makes it nice and soft but it also makes it hand wash only so that's something I have to think about am I going to take the time to wash them by hand or am I going to take a chance put them in the lingerie bag and do it on delicate cycle and hope for the best yeah so if you've had either of these Daniel Rain sweaters or any of the sweaters that I hand wash only let me know your thoughts on that so this first one is called Daniel Rain it's a cusper mini puff sleeve pullover in dark green um, I got a size medium at $68. It is a nice dark green background. And then we've got black florals and just different color leaves and sprigs. And it's just, it's just really pretty. It's got a crew neck right here with a little bit of ribbing around here. And it just, it's a nice comfortable length. And my try on, I did have it on with a necklace and I had plenty of room. We do have the full length sleeves and this has a nice big ribbing detail on the cuff. And again, we've got that same kind of ribbing down at the bottom, and it's nice wide ribbing right here. So I do like it, but I would love to hear your thoughts on these sweaters. The second Daniel Rain sweater is a V-neck. This one is called the Airy V-neck pullover in blue, size medium. And it, when I first looked at it, it kind of reminds me of crystal snowflakes, but but it's floral. So it's like this dark blue. It's coming up kind of like a royal blue on my monitor, but in person it is more closer to a navy color. And then these flowers in here. So we've got some light blue flowers. We've got maybe some grays or darker blue in here. We've got these light sprinkles of light blue. And then I think I'll, this one might show some of the uh, detail up closer. For you so we've got that blue and we've got like maybe black dots in there as well we've got a little bit of ribbing at the cuff on the sleeve and the same kind of ribbing detail along the hemline here so it's about an inch and a half of that rib detail at the bottom it's got a nice v-neck um, i did wear a necklace with it i had plenty of room to wear a necklace so it, again it's really pretty same kind of material they're both $68 I would love to hear your thoughts on caring for these down your rain sweaters if you've had luck uh, doing them in a lingerie bag on delicate or if it is hand wash only and which one did you think looked better on me yeah I know that's a hard one because yeah nothing is looking good on me okay so next we're going to move on to the dress that I kept on so this is by Nine Britain it's called the Abigail Brush Knit Midi Dress on um, the navy. It's a size small. It is $58. It does have these kind of sleeves. It's sleeveless, but it kind of cuts in right here. So, I mean, I just had my nude strap bra on, but um, if I were going to wear it like this, I would probably have to wear my razor back bra. But if I were going to wear something like this, it's kind of like a form-fitting dress. Yeah, yeah, you saw, you saw it. My hips are out of control. I don't know what to do about it so anyway I would cover it up with a cardigan and it is a full wrap dress that you could see I it's uh, kind of hooked up at the uh, high on the hip line so if uh, you were wearing this and the wind blew look out duck and cover people because what you were gonna see it's not pretty yeah just saying be careful out there but anyway it was ruched on one side so it kind of pulls in it's like an almost like an empire waist so it goes above your natural waistline and it's kind of so it kind of pulls you in a little bit um, but it is form-fitting so I don't know if I sized up to a medium would I feel comfortable enough to wear it because like I said nothing is looking right on me um, she did pair it with this love Ellie this Ola herringbone knit cardigan this is an olive it's a size medium this is only $48 it's a nice lightweight cardigan perfect for layering and again it does have kind of like that herringbone print kind of imprinted ribbed at the cuff we've got a little bit of ribbing right here along the inside of the cardigan they both have pockets on we have a pocket on each side and then ribbing detail again at the bottom I think the color for this and I can see why she would want to mix this with it for me I just didn't like this length cardigan with the midi dress um yeah so I if I were if I were going to keep it I would not wear it with this cardigan because I just did not feel comfortable in it so I pulled out my barefoot dreams 
because it's like wearing a baby blanket and when it's 50 degrees below zero here that I know it's coming I want something warm and cozy so I put it on with this one only because well when I first tried it on with the sweater you saw me with the heels on because that's how I used to dress yeah I, I don't like to dress like that anymore so I would get ready for my winter boots with this faux fur lining right here good traction on the bottom sorry I did with these all last year and the tongue even has that faux fur in here and they are just soft they're comfortable I can pedal all day in them so yes yeah, so I thought these went good with a cardigan but I do have an olive bear foot dreams cardigan if I did want to maybe wear it with um, some olive boots or something if I ever get any so I do have the option there so that is everything that was in my fix oh, yeah so it's the fun try on is always the fun part trying to make the decisions at the end is a hard part for me I so appreciate you guys and your honesty and telling me uh, what you think something looked right on me or sizing up I mean like I said if I were going to keep this I would go up to a medium but I still don't know if it's still going to be that form-fitting would I feel comfortable wearing it that's what I'm not sure of so yeah and the sweaters if I, I if I keep one it would just be one that I keep so I have to decide am I going to take the care to launder it right and which one looked better on me so I just want to thank you guys for stopping in spending some time with me it means more to me than I can ever let you know so thank you everyone from the bottom of my heart I hope you guys give this video a thumbs up your comments of course are always welcome and if you are new to my channel uh, please hit that little red subscribe button before you go I would love to see you come back and join me for future videos and yeah so until the next video bye bye everyone take care